Hello, everybody. Lady B here. Uh, I am on vacation in Oregon along with Country Living E Oregon Style 61. And there's Patty sitting over there. And we are smoking salmon. Never had any kind of salmon like just for one bite. Never ever a smoked salmon. Jana, you want to tell them what's going on? Um, what I did is I, I mix up a dry brine and I rub it or put it on in layers. I put a layer of fish down and then put a, a layer of my uh, dry rub down. You keep layer until I run out of meat. Top layer is your dry rub. I uh, cold smoke to get the smoke into it. Anything after two and a half hours, you won't get any smoke. Then it's time to start putting your heat to it so that you can cook it. I didn't have a whole lot, that's just a small jack salmon, and so I didn't have a whole lot, but it'll give them a taste of what salmon tastes like. Um, I use alder and I use um, apple mixed as my chips to, um, to smoke with. Um, you can use any brine you want. You can do a wet brine, you can do a, bright, a dry rub. That's what I use as a dry. But um, I will start putting smoke here to it in a minute. I just wanted to get it out there because my coals are almost ready. I use uh, charcoal to get it started. And then I start adding my, um, my uh, wet chips to it. After two, two and a half hours. Sorry about that, about fail. <laughs> after two, two and a half hours, then I start adding fur to it to get the heat, to get the fish done. Or if you're doing jerky, I use the same brine for jerky as I do for for fish. I mean, it's the same thing. So we'll see what we got here. Yeah, we can. It, it could wait a little bit longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some in. Now, and we just soak it in water. Uh, soaked it started last night. Soaking it. I put quite a bit on the first go around. But anything, like I say, anything after two and, two and a half hours, you're not going to get any more smoke into whatever meat you're doing. Wear a watch or have a wa uh, clock or something like that to where you can um, keep track, your track. That way you can start putting your uh, heat to it. Otherwise, that's it. You see me do other, other meats. Uh, I've done jerky. I did the Canadian bacon. I did all that type of stuff. It's all the same thing as far as the two and a half hours, two to two and a half hours. The only thing I did less was, was the cheese when I did it. I did it for an hour and a half, but it was strictly a cold smoke. There was no heat to it. I put my stuff over on this side so I don't, so I don't get um, heat to it before, I, before all the smoke gets into it. Then I, then I start adding it. It takes, depending on how thick your stuff is, it'll take to an hour, hour and a half two hours for, for to get your fish done. You can tell, um, I run my, um, when I do regular like venison or anything like that, I run about two, 250, but then I bring a thermometer over and test the inside of it. Anything that's not done and I think I'm gonna burn, I take it over and finish putting it in the oven on a low 200 and finish it up in the ovens. But that's the way I do it for right now. I, I adjust my, my smoke intake, or output here. Um, I only want a little bit of smoke coming out. I want to make sure I have smoke going, but I have to have some place to put for it to go out because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see anything when you open it up. But that's about it for right now. We'll be back. It's an hour and 15 minutes worth of smoke. But you can see the color difference. Yum, can't wait. And how, what's the temperature on it? There, well, there isn't any temperature yet. Oh, okay. There will be. Okay. It's starting to climb a little bit. <laughs> but it's not. It won't until I start putting yep. wood to it for the heat to cook it. <coughs> okay, we'll be putting heat to it here in just a little bit. And then I'll show you after it's done and what it looks like. And I'll be sure to tell you how good it is. Okay, everybody, we're back and it's done. I'm sorry it's so dark and you may not be able to see a whole lot of it. But I guarantee you, oh wow. I cannot wait to taste it. 
Jana, Jana tells me that I've been living such a sheltered life and I've never tasted anything. So I'll let you know in a little bit how it tastes. Okay, this is the pizza that I've been eating off of. And it is absolutely wonderful. I've never tasted it before. I've had a little tiny, tiny piece of salmon that my daughter had fixed, but never smoked. And I guarantee you, this is absolutely delicious. It is super delicious. Thank you, Jana. You're welcome. <laughs> so we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.